Yo, welcome to the Polygon Cafe, my name is Jack and I hope you're having a great day. This video is going to be a substance designer tutorial where I'll be creating a stylized tree bark material. Feel free to slow the video down using the YouTube settings icon if you want to see exactly which settings I'm using for the nodes. So let's get started. To create the main tree bark texture, I used the Crystal 2 node and scaled this down horizontally using the Transformation 2D node. I then blended this with the Grunge Map number 5 using the Multiply Blending mode. The Levels nodes are then handy to use to reduce the contrast of the texture. I then duplicated the grunge map number 5 so that I could firstly change its scale then blend this on top to add some more detail to the base texture. Grunge map number 6 was then used to create a sort of decaying effect on the bottom of the material by using the min darken blending mode. To make it look as if some branches had been cut off, I then plugged in a Polygon 2 node into a directional warp node using Pearl and Noise with a scale of around 6 as the intensity input. To give this shape some depth, I then duplicated the shape I'd created, scaled it down using the Transform 2D node, and made it darker using the Levels node. By blending this on top of the original shape, it will create a sort of indent in the middle. To create the wood grain pattern where the branch would have been cut off, I used a paraboloid shape node, hopefully I'm saying that right, um, I scaled it down on the x-axis then used this, uh, used this as the pattern input of a splatter circular node. To blend this shape with the rest of the bark texture, I used it as the pattern input to a tile generator. I then increased the pattern input number to reduce the amount that pattern number 1 is shown. I increased its scale and rotation random values, then also increased the value of the luminance random, which randomizes the height of the pattern.
To make this tile generator more visible after blending it with the tree back, I reduced the white values of the texture by using a levels node. I then used some of my reference to extract colour from to create the base colour for the material. I connected the normal map into a curvature smooth node, then used the pick gradient tool from the gradient map node. If you liked this video and want to keep it updated with the Polygon Cafe, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and give the video a like. But most importantly, follow our Instagram at the Polygon Cafe. Um, we're literally the best 3D source on the internet, so make sure to stay updated. Alright, sound, I'll see you guys soon. Cheers!